you also need to be very good at scale manufacturing. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, ten or twenty thousand dollars. Elon Musk recently announced that Tesla's Optimus, a humanoid robot capable of walking, working, and learning independently, could be priced at just ten thousand dollars by 2026, cheaper than the cost of an EV over a few years. Far from a gimmick, Optimus has shown it can function autonomously in harsh environments, like disaster zones and epidemic areas, and is set to play a crucial role in scaling up production of Tesla's CyberCab, or a Model 2 at Giga Texas. What advancements enabled this breakthrough? Can a $10,000 robot truly manage tasks ranging from household chores to industrial work and high-risk rescue operations? Welcome to Techno Creators. You've seen the polished demos. Optimus moving smoothly around the factory, folding laundry, catching tennis balls with ease, taking out the trash in Tesla's office. But the real question is, does it actually solve real-world problems? Tesla's Tesla Optimus Gen 3 aims to turn skepticism into belief by addressing real-world pain points with targeted upgrades. For anyone who struggled with stairs while carrying laundry or managing mobility issues, a robot that hesitates on descents is a non-starter. Gen 2 can move at 3 miles per hour on flat surfaces and handle small curbs but struggles with downward slopes. Gen 3 tackles this with redesigned ankle geometry, a dedicated descent control system, and real-time balance adjustments using inertial measurement unit data processed every 4 milliseconds. By the third quarter of 2025, this update will enable every optimist to navigate stairs fluidly, eliminating the risk of a costly robot stuck on the second floor. The thought of a robot wielding a knife near a loved one is unnerving. Gen 2's hands with 11 degrees of freedom and basic force sensing can lift boxes but lack the finesse for delicate tasks like handling wet produce. Tesla bought Gen 3 upgrades to double the joints, triple the tactile precision, and adds temperature and soft collision sensors. This means it can rinse vegetables or detect a bruised fruit ensuring safety and reliability in high-stakes settings like kitchens. For caregivers, this builds trust that the robot won't endanger those it serves. For families caring for aging loved ones, a robot must do more than chores. It needs to prevent emergencies. Gen 3's IP54 ceiling withstands bathroom humidity, while its fall detection system analyzes micro-movements in 200 milliseconds to catch stumbles, brace falls, or call for help. Pilot programs start in 2026 with commercial units in 2027, reflecting Tesla's focus on liability and reliability over rushed launches. This addresses the exhaustion of constant caregiving, offering 24-7 vigilance no human can sustain. And if you're caring for an octogenarian parent, Tesla's timeline feels glacial. Pilot programs in 2026, commercial units in 2027. But there's a method behind the delay. Elder care isn't about a gimmick, it's about liability. The robot must traverse slick bathroom tile, recognize a stumble in real time, and call for help before a fractured hip turns fatal. Gen 3's IP54 ceiling keeps the circuits alive through steam and soap spray. Its new fall detection net reads micro accelerations in both human and robot torsos, deciding in 200 milliseconds whether to brace, lift, or summon emergency medical technicians. If that sounds like overkill, remember the pain being solved. 24-hour vigilance is impossible for a single human caregiver, but it's table stakes for a robot that claims to protect and care. Dropping $15,000 to $20,000 might feel like a steal or a slap, depending on how your wallet's doing. Tesla tries to ease the sting with a chill $499 a month lease, yep, service included and a battery swap every four years for $1,200. But the real stress? It's the price roller coaster. One policy shift in Beijing, and bam! Rare earth exports slow down, prices spike 15% overnight, and suddenly your cost projections are toast. To keep it cool, Gen 3 rolls with a plan B, ferrite magnets. Heavier? Sure. But sourced from North America, so the supply chains got fewer mood swings. That shift doesn't just lock in costs, it flips an international drama into a low-key delivery detail. And for CFOs sweating over cents per pallet, that's not small, it's make or break. However, 
Concerns about a compromised robot are real. Gen 3's firmware is secured with a trusted platform module, rejecting unauthorized updates. Its sentry mode locks the robot, emits an 80 decibel alarm, and streams GPS if tampered with. The aluminum frame acts as a Faraday cage against minor electromagnetic interference, though it's not battlefield proof. These features sharply reduce risks, with insurers already offering affordable $20 a month riders. Out in the suburbs, where the fields stretch on and the barns stand proud, Silicon Valley parties might as well be a distant dream. It's dust, drizzle, and that biting January chill that makes lithium cells shiver. Gen 3 gets it, though. With its IP54 skin, it's good for light rain, and its self-heating pack can brave temps as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. Plus, the 2027 terrain kit? It adds rubberized boots, tough enough to handle goat paddocks without breaking a sweat. But here's the real headache. Service in rural areas. Some counties don't even see a Tesla tech for months. Enter Tesla's new plan. A service van will swing by every two months, and each EV can link up by a small Starlink letting mechanics diagnose issues remotely. It's not flawless, but it's a massive upgrade from having to trek your Optimus all the way to Fremont for repairs. Please help us reach 12,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. It's got the, it's got the real world AI. So Tesla's the leader in real world AI. Um, what we learned in the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also try to take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design. And then another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. Unlike competitors starting from zero, Tesla is leveraging over 15 years of proficiency in electric motors, structural design, and high volume automation from its electric vehicle operations to develop Optimus. This approach has slashed development time by 45% cut costs by 40%, and boosted scalability, giving Tesla a significant advantage in the robotics race. During Tesla's 2024 showcase, the second-generation Optimus demonstrated remarkable independence, completing tasks without human oversight with a 94% success rate. Rather than relying on preset movements, it exhibited environmental awareness, adapting to its surroundings with an 89% response accuracy. By repurposing its automotive innovations, Tesla has crafted a humanoid robot that excels in speed, affordability, and scalability. Optimus's wide-ranging abilities and autonomous performance signal a new era for robotics, poised to revolutionize daily tasks from household chores to interactive entertainment with unmatched efficiency. This is a super big deal. Like my, my prediction is that, on this front, is that Optimus will be the biggest product of all time by far. Nothing will even be close. It'll be, I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. When Elon Musk makes bold statements about Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot, he's not seeking attention. He's genuinely committed. He envisions Optimus generating more revenue for Tesla than its iconic vehicles combined, potentially surpassing the Model 3's $100 billion in sales, the Cybertruck's projected $50 billion, and the Roadster niche market value by a factor of 2x or more. What's truly astonishing is that this isn't an elite $100,000 prototype confined to research labs. Musk Project's Optimus could be available for purchase at around $20,000, with ambitions to lower it to $10,000 through economies of scale, a 50% cost reduction from initial estimates. If Tesla succeeds, Optimus could revolutionize everyday existence. This human-like robot capable of walking and interacting naturally, handles practical tasks with 95% efficiency, folding laundry, cleaning kitchens, charging EVs autonomously in under five minutes, entertaining kids through games, and watering plants. It operates continuously for 10 hours on a single charge with a self-recharging feature that achieves 80% capacity in 30 minutes via a standard outlet. The third generation Optimus features significant upgrades including the integration of the 4680 battery pack, identical to those in Tesla vehicles. This swap has reduced the robot's weight by 22 pounds, a 15% overall decrease, improved balance by 25%, and enhanced energy efficiency by 30%. The streamlined design eliminates bulky external packs, 
integrating the battery into the torso for a more humanoid, seamless appearance, making it 20% closer to human-like proportions. At that point, we'll be providing Optimus robots to uh, outside customers. They'll, they'll be production version two of Optimus. In our view, Gen 3 is poised to be the priciest iteration of Optimus yet, boasting a superior design, enhanced features, and an extended battery life that outshines all earlier models. We wouldn't be shocked if its price tag hovers around $100,000. The hands of Gen 3 alone double the degrees of freedom seen in Gen 2, jumping from 11 to 22, a significant upgrade. Adding to the excitement, Elon Musk recently shared on X that, the new Optimus design, which will be complete later this year, is something special. Hinting at a sleek and refined unveiling expected this month, we anticipate a noticeable departure from Genesis 2, particularly in its polished finish and overall sophistication. Tesla Optimus Gen 3 is set to offer a substantial increase in features and capabilities compared to its predecessors. Even setting aside the more advanced AI, the enhanced hands alone will enable a broader and more intricate range of tasks. For instance, Gen 1 was limited to purchasing ingredients. Gen 2 could prepare ingredients and cook up to 100 different dishes. But Gen 3 promises to source ingredients and cook virtually any recipe you desire. That's the leap forward that sets it apart. From our standpoint, if Tesla bot Gen 3 can match human versatility and operate for at least 10 hours daily with minimal upkeep, an $80,000 price would still seem justifiable. Considering the average cost of a standard humanoid robot, which typically spans from $50,000 to upwards of $140,000. This fits within the expected range. However, given Tesla's track record of reducing prices over time as production scales, we're optimistic that the cost will become more accessible across all versions in the long run. Currently, Tesla Optimus is excelling in a wide array of tasks, ranging from logistics and manufacturing assistance to tackling routine household duties positions that are set to lead the way forward. However, impressive capabilities alone won't suffice. The true differentiators lie in the robot's intelligence, adaptability, and capacity to learn within unfamiliar settings. The more intelligent and self-reliant a robot becomes, the more it reduces operating expenses, thereby enhancing its long-term economic worth. Yet, affordability remains a critical factor if companies aim to penetrate the broader market rather than remaining confined to specialized industrial or research applications. Elon Musk has consistently emphasized that the Tesla bot is engineered to be the most advanced and intelligent humanoid robot globally. Furthermore, Musk has noted that once Tesla's production line reaches maximum efficiency, they will be able to produce the Tesla bot at a cost of just $10,000. Indeed, even Tesla's fiercest rivals cannot overlook the company's remarkable pace of progress. In a span of just a few years, Tesla has achieved milestones that took Boston Dynamics nearly three decades to reach, marking a seismic shift in the field. In the competitive race to create humanoid robots for household duties, the Tesla bot has emerged as a groundbreaking force in AI innovation. More specifically, Optimus stands out as the product that bridges artificial intelligence into practical, everyday life. While you might use ChatGPT to find a recipe, you'd still need to cook it yourself unless you own a $20,000 Optimus Tesla, which eliminates the need for any manual effort. Exactly one year after the debut of Optimus Gen 2 last December, throughout 2024, the Tesla bot has kept enthusiasts captivated with each new demo video released by Tesla. Beyond its factory applications, it has taken on a variety of homemaking roles. Watering plants, tidying the kitchen, retrieving items from the car trunk, accepting deliveries, serving beverages, and engaging with people in the most amiable way. For the first time globally, an electric vehicle company showcased nearly 50 humanoid robots at an event where they interacted with attendees in a remarkable display. They danced, distributed gifts, and even posed as bartenders to serve drinks, an achievement that only Tesla could execute with such flair. Optimus boasts the ability to lift objects up to 22 pounds, such as battery trays, and has recently mastered climbing both up and down stairs, a capability it lacked earlier this year. It navigates diverse terrains, from smooth floors to slippery slopes and rugged hills, thanks to its newly upgraded hands. These hands, equipped with advanced sensors and agility, 
allow it to perform real-time tasks like catching a ball with ease. One of the most debated topics surrounding the Tesla bot in 2024 has been its reliance on teleoperation rather than full autonomy, sparking concerns about its practicality since it still depends on human guidance. However, this misunderstanding warrants clarification. Consider it analogous to a child, most readily understood through this example. A child requires supervision, practice, and training from parents to master tasks. And even with guidance, it takes repeated effort over time to excel. Optimus follows a similar learning curve, needing to collect data before achieving independent operation. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.